Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. And I'm Zach. Oh my God, <laughs> Zach Anner is here. A powerful introduction. A powerful intro. <laughs> I've never not been loud. So it's just on brand for me. <laughs> Zach, why don't you tell the people who you are and uh, and what you do? Uh, I uh. I didn't prepare anything, <laughs> but uh, I'm a comedian, a YouTuber, a writer, a public speaker. I don't know. Like, really, my superpower is that I have cerebral palsy, and I, like now that they can't see the wheelchair, I feel naked. <laughs> But really, I should have used this time to say that I was like a triathlete or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could have said anything. No one can fact check us. I'm it's really true. buff. I've got one of those curly mustaches like a 1920s boxer. Uh, <laughs> Zach is lifting a giant barbell. Yeah. And, and uh, I don't know what we're doing. We've had meetings about it. And uh -huh. I, I'm still uh, un unclear. You're about to find out. Uh, Zach. We're going to do uh, movies described poorly. So Zach is going to describe some movie plots uh, very vaguely or poorly. And we're going to just try to draw what that description is. And we're going to do our best and then try to figure out what that movie is. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see yeah. how close we are. Okay. All right. Well, I've got a few movie descriptions here, but I would hesitate. Uh, to call them uh, poorly described films oh. because I think I actually do a pretty great job. And <laughs> if you guys don't get this, then maybe you're just the problem. Yeah, that's, that's on fair. Us. I, I judged. I judged too soon. Yeah, <laughs> that's on me. Yeah, let's hear the descriptions first before we call them poor. I'm ready for an excellent movie description. Okay, great. This movie is about the worst beach party of all time. Uh, <laughs> That's amazing. You just show up and everyone's wearing the same thing. And, and like everyone at the party was expecting you. But uh, like there's no hors d'oeuvres. It, it feels like like nobody wants to have this party. There's no pina coladas. Uh, and everything is really loud. Um, <laughs> and you, you can't hear anything. And then you want to go home immediately but you only came because you wanted to hook up with this one person. And, uh, like, and, and you, you, you can't find them. You're like, oh, man, I'll go to this party because this, uh, this other <laughs> this person's there. And it's, like, <laughs> like, like, really uh, a big deal. I don't know what you're drawing there, but it seems about right. This is, <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining this is the main character. Uh, yeah. Based on this description, they've shown up. Doesn't really want to be at the party. Yeah, they've shown yeah. up. Yeah, this is a negative Nancy. Yeah, they're like, well, I wanted to uh, hook up with someone. That's or they they wanted to to talk with someone here. Yeah. But they're not they're not even here, and there's no hors d'oeuvres. So yeah, I'm just yeah yeah. That's I mean that's a movie. That's I'd, a real. Uh, I'd that's watch about that. right. No hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> terrible beach party. Like no volleyball. No nothing. This beach party. It's even raining. Like who keeps? Who has a beach party when it's raining at the beach? And then what? What? What sucks is this guy goes on like a wild goose chase to find that person that he wants to hook up with, and then he finds them. And they're not even like into it. Like oh, they're like, no. yeah, isn't that wow. a bummer? This is you just a bad day. This is just this guy's bad it's terrible. day. Terrible. This is a terrible like, and it seems like with uh, how I'm describing it, that it would have turned into a blast, but it's not really. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie sounds like a bummer. Just a bit. A beach bummer. Can I ask what genre this movie is? This is a drama. Okay. Oh. And I like, uh, we've got like a like a young Danny DeVito here. Yeah. That's what it. <laughs> I've, just, I've, I've sort of cast this movie based on, you know, what the description. I don't really know who's in it, so. Yeah, I feel like, remember that it's a party, though, so there would be other 
people around. Yeah, I mean, there <laughs> there, there will a, be, but it's this is just lonely man walks well, on the ocean. What's uh, a <laughs> what's lamer at a beach party than not having very many people there? You know, I guess yeah. I think that a beach party by yourself that's just that's almost just like you're walking into the ocean. That's like a <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. it meets the the bare minimum definition of party. Right. Yeah, are the are the other people at the party also not having a good time? No, no one's really having a good time. All right, I'll just draw and some. It was, wow. And it was almost designed that way. They should have canceled this party. Like if it was raining, they should have. <laughs> why? Why did they go through with it? It was just too. I was uh, the, the for some reason this party was important. I genuinely have no idea what movie yeah, this is. Yeah, me neither. I'm, I'm like excited. Really trying to figure I, it out. I think I'm I'm clearly doing this wrong. I clearly did not understand. No, this the is good. Assignment. This is right because we shouldn't be able to guess it. Yeah. That's okay. That means you're on track because we want to draw sort of our own movie based on this description. It looks to be uh, like a, a Sam Elliott type with a, his head sticking out of the sand. Is oh that God. what I'm seeing? Sam Elliott and Dave I, I sort of was, was imagining him in the foreground, but I do like the idea of having someone's head just sort of sticking out of the sand as well. That's a really bad d- beach day. Yeah, you get yeah. fully buried. And it's raining. Yeah. This and person's going to drown. And I think... This this is this is gonna be Sam Elliott in here. This is him. He's oh, this is to, Sam Elliott. This is Sam Elliott. So we are making some casting decisions now. Yeah. So Danny DeVito's bad beach day with <laughs> Sam Elliott. I love the idea of uh, Sam Elliott being buried for the whole movie and just like doling out good advice every time you pass him. Wait, is that even, would he even be able to, he's like buried from the nose down. I don't even know if we'd get his, his sultry <laughs> baritone <laughs> with that. It's just a lot yeah, of coughing and sputtering. Full, yeah, his mouth is full of sand, just sand all <laughs> over his... <laughs> Uh, do you want any more details to, to oh, enrich sure. the drawing? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I was just going to keep filling up this beach with uh, party goers until uh, someone told me to stop. I feel like you need, you don't even understand the scope of this this party. Okay, uh, yeah, like, e- explain it like more. You need, you, need to, you need to zoom out from, from this because, like, I mean, literally, it's the... It's the worst beach party that like thousands of people showed up. It was like it would be worse than Firefest. Like Oh, it's simil- so it's like really mm. populated. It's uh-huh. really bad. Now, I have I have a question about yes. this beach party. Are there weapons at this beach party? I would I would say yes, there are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Nathan's onto something. Okay. And th- this 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 beach is it is it in Europe? I, yes, it is. Okay, I would say okay. it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this took a turn. See, I was thinking in the very beginning uh-huh. of this that it may have been fifty first dates, but you know what? We've taken a twist. Really good. Um, <laughs> did, did I did, did I do this wrong? This is no, this wrong? is no, this is perfect. perfect. Okay, great. That's amazing. All right, let me uh, let me try and I think I I think I have a little bit of an idea now. What? Oh my, uh, okay. okay. So there, so there the there were some Normandy. there were some boats <laughs> there were some boats at this beach party. There's yeah. one or two so, boats. Some boats. It just some hit boats me. at this beach party. There are some people on the boats. There, and none of them are having a good time. It's no true. one's having a good time. No, no they no came one's... to this like... beach party. There are no snacks. Everyone's just having a bad time. I have to time. say. Zach, you really did describe this movie very well. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I thought so. Like, and, uh, like, there's some critical details missing. Right. But not, not to, you get the general vibe yeah, from what I said. Give this guy, I think that everybody's got sort of like a, like a party hat on. Yeah. Like yeah. Sort yeah. Of like... Everyone. That's why I said everyone's wearing the same thing. And it's yeah. like, no one's oh, going to change. Wore the same thing. At this the, beach bar. The freaking like <laughs> prestige of this reveal has blown my mind. It's so good. That's so good, Zach. <laughs> okay, but also I want to see Danny DeVito in a World War II movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why he never gets those those 
types of roles. <laughs> he seems perfect for it. I don't think things bode well for Sam Elliott's character. No, no. Sam, well, no. I don't know, he's so low to the ground that like maybe, you know, maybe he'll be okay. I think there, and some of the like pyrotechnics for the party went off too early, right? That's something that yeah. happens. It's too loud. It's too, too loud. loud. <laughs> it's Friday night's too loud. Yeah. It's, God, it's really all bumping. of your description is so good and accurate, and it's like blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm just like flashing back to all the things you said. Yeah. I'm being like, oh my God, it all comes together. It all makes sense. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's that's the, the mark of great cinema. <laughs> <laughs> the, when it all comes together and makes sense. I mean, I didn't do anything that, that, you know, the filmmakers didn't provide me with, you know, like it's, it's just, uh, that's, that's what's great is you could take, uh, when you can take a movie and there's so many layers that you can you can just leave out the most important parts and still get it. We got there. <laughs> That's art, baby. Oh my god! This guy is very. I, I like that there's still the Bermuda shorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I think I think that stays. Yeah, everybody, you know, they still thought it was a beach party. Oh, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Coming Amazing. up with the, the the limb difference. So <laughs> I think, can we say what this film is now? Uh, can I guess? Can I guess first? Uh, yes, absolutely. Is it is it Saving Private Ryan? <sighs> no, it was from Justin to Kelly. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, saving Private Ryan is correct. All right. <laughs> We got there. Yeah, the Saving Private Ryan, the the worst beach party movie I think ever. I think ever, right? Yeah, it's just I can't imagine a worse day at the beach than the <laughs> beginning of of Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why that movie got such good reviews. Cause like I watched it and I was like, this beach party is awful. Like I don't, I don't get it. I'm not getting this movie. Where's the hors d'oeuvres? Yeah, no one was prepared for this party. They don't even get to hang out on the beach at the end. It's just yeah. that a, a yeah, cemetery. <laughs> Chekhov's beach. If there's a beach, <laughs> there needs to be a party at some point in the movie, and the, the, yeah, this movie like, fully uh, subverts that expectation. Oh, that's very nice. Do I get to keep like a version of this drawing? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh great. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do like a finished one that's like full color and and oh, all done wonderful. up nice, and we can send those to you. Ooh. Nice high resolution, so you can make it your desktop wallpaper. <laughs> This is great. I'll I'll definitely do that. Um, yeah, I'll I'll clean this up in uh in post. But that's this is great. That's the Thank that's the beach party. It'll look Thank less you like poutine. So much for this. In post. Normandy really <laughs> was not. It wasn't a good time. It was no. not bumping. Not a good time. Decisively good bad. Time beach party. Those boats do look like poutine, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they look like yeah, they look like wonderful, <laughs> uh, so, like. Like steaming cheese curds and fries. Yeah, a little like, snack tray. Yeah, all the snack trays are out in the water, and so <laughs> they they can't reach them. They're gonna get soggy before they even make it to the party. Uh, wow. Again, there's just nothing that went right on this day. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> nothing. Oh boy. All right. Good job, Nathan. That's my that's my drawing. Good work, Nathan. I'm gonna go next. This is exciting. So you guys don't know this and it will be irrelevant when this video comes out, but it's my birthday today. Oh my so gosh. I went, oh, I went with some real party themed <laughs> uh, movies. Uh -huh. Happy birthday, Zach. Oh, thank you. The comments better be full of happy birthday, Zach, or else I'm deleting the channel. You know what I love is that I'm spending it with my well, with my three best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie, this is the story of two orphans at Christmas, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of them is going to the big city for the first time to find their parents. But this is a poor orphan, story of a poor or orphan and a rich orphan. A poor orphan oh. and a rich orphan. Hmm. Okay. And uh, the poor orphan is sort of 
like an ugly, ugly little orphan, and then the rich orphan is like handsome and has everything going for them. So I'm gonna start with. I guess this will be the rich one since I made them taller. <laughs> okay. That that is a fact. When you the more the, the more rich you are, the taller you are. Well, That's why Jeff Bezos is like twenty feet tall. <laughs> he is so freaking tall. <laughs> but what they don't tell you is that the taller you are, the balder you are. Oh, yeah. oh, that that lesser known rule. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The hair can't survive at such high altitude, so it falls out. Yeah, it's just like gets too brittle up there in the cold weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the wind is just off. too harsh. It blows away. <laughs> the rich orphan is going through a will, like a real will they or won't they thing with this secretary. Oh, this is not a child. I might no. be. This orphan is not a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing based on this new description. <laughs> okay, let me make some adjustments here. It's a, it's a, it's a tiny baby business. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's boss baby. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make the, we're gonna lengthen the face a bit here. Yeah. It's interesting that you, you're going with this top hat. I guess that's a rich orphan thing, right? I mean, I don't know any rich orphans personally. I mean, I am part of a rich orphan group on Facebook. Oh. And, oh, okay. And that is sort of the spitting image of the the rich orphans that I see. A lot of, lot of top hats, a lot of monocles. <laughs> Big bow tie. Yep. You would think <laughs> that they would have moved on from this as a culture, but it is mostly a bow tie culture still. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are just timeless, you know? Yep. Big bow ties, top hats. <laughs> they just transcend generations. They just scream, like, I have a lot of money and both my parents are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Each side of the bow tie represents one dead parent. <laughs> yeah. It's, yes. it's and symbolic. Then the, the knot in the middle represents the poor child, right? Yes. <laughs> so, um, so this... Rich orphan who's dating the secretary, and they have the real hot and cold thing going on. But the thing that they uh, most connect over is that they're both furries. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay, Jacob, you're gonna have to make so, uh, just some slight ear adjustments. Holes, ear yeah. holes. That's For great. Some oh. Ears. Ooh. That's what we need. So there's a lot of there's a lot of sexual energy between these two, but it's weird. <laughs> okay, so I, I need to get the secretary in here too. I'll I'll get to her in just a second. The furry secretary. Yeah, but she only becomes a a furry when she becomes an empowered woman. Oh. This is gonna be her over here in the in a full fur suit. <laughs> so let's get the eyelashes. That's how you know. She really found herself when she became a furry. Okay. Good for her. All about it now, you know? Happy for her. Sometimes you got to yeah. try out some things. <laughs> uh huh. This face is just making me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. Yeah. This, this was sort of a de she, um She made it herself, it looks like. Well, this is like the first one, you know? She can't yeah. afford one of the expensive fur. Those things are expensive, like yeah. the high quality fursuits. The craftsmanship. Yeah. She's, she's yeah. dipping her, her little paw in to the fandom yeah you can't you can't just go and get like a mascot suit or something because you have to have the different sets of holes for all the all the liquids i'm assuming <laughs> yeah definitely there's it's like a spit valve on a truck <laughs> I've never seen when a fur suit opens up uh, to empty out the spit valve, but uh, it's there. I imagine a fur suit comes off like what's the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is it Total Recall, where he where he has like the woman's head over his own and it like unfolds like the robot or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I believe it's that or Kindergarten Cop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of those two. Okay, I got to get to this poor orphan. So we got to get to this poor orphan. This poor orphan doesn't actually wind up finding his parents or reconnecting with his parents because every th every move that this poor orphan tries to make, this rich jerk 
orphan tries to thwart him. Wow. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right? I need to make an adjustment but here. What the poor orphan does realize is that he's got a lot of friends uh, and uh, and, and he <laughs> tries to go to the, this this rich orphan's parties. It's and is just turned away whenever he he shows up. Like he tries to go to the, the all the, the eyes wide shut weird furry parties <laughs> that uh, this rich orphan is having, and just gets turned away. Come on, let the poor orphan in. Come on. Yeah. Right. Let the boy play. Jacob, you've drawn a skinny Charlie Brown. Yeah, I this one's to the you. poor orphan's Charlie Brown for some reason. I have. I have a guess as to what this movie is. You are welcome to to make a guess. Is this a Batman? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. It makes sense. It's starting to make sense. Oh, no. It's all coming together again. I I love that we're still going for this poor orphan baby over here. Yeah. (laughs) My favorite Batman villain. Bruce hates babies. Sad Charlie Brown. (laughs) Sad Charlie Brown. (laughs) Well, this tells like a different story, you know. If, if yeah. this is Bruce Wayne yeah. here, and and this is I don't know Bane, is it? Bane? Yeah, this is Bane. <laughs> uh, this is actually that's not the one that I was describing. Oh, okay. But I guess it also applies. It works for a number of of Batman movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it is actually also the plot of. Of uh, Dark Knight Rises, yeah, but that's not the one that I I I was thinking of in my head. Well, you said this orphan's got a lot of friends. Yeah, a lot of friends that aren't necessarily as human as other friends might be. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I, I I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna give him some non-human friends for this is my movie. This isn't give Batman. Give him some non-human friend. You don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm describing it perfectly. <laughs> I got as far as a Batman movie, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that narrow it down enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it the penguin? Is he the penguin? Yes, he's the penguin. <laughs> so it's the. Um... Oh, I, we were one drawing off with Danny DeVito. Yeah. Oh, Dang it. Come just on. one drawing off. You just. <laughs> You could actually copy and paste the Danny DeVito from the Saving Private Ryan drawing. And you'd this be is fine. child Danny. Danny's yeah. back. Uh, well, I've already made his friend a, a dog boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this this one is not the penguin. This is dog boy. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is Batman and his arch nemesis, Dog Boy. <laughs> the sad a boy. small sad child <laughs> that he will defeat in the name of ju- justice and vengeance. Well, in this one, Batman just doesn't like poor people very much. Yeah, so. I think that's true of any Batman. Yeah, just hates the poor, hates anyone trying to make a better life for themselves. <laughs> Yeah, Batman doesn't like that in this one. <laughs> Even though Batman has, I guess, cat ears or or perhaps fox ears. Well, I feel like you've drawn the, the non-hero life of Bruce Wayne where he goes about having sex in a fox suit. <laughs> it's, fox one of them, uh, it's one of them flying foxes. That's like a type of yeah. bat, right? Yeah, yeah. totally. He's, he's, he's iterating on the bat costume here. He's one of those foxes that only you only remember when they're in some Richard Attenborough documentary. And you're like, yeah. oh, that's a thing? <laughs> Let's watch that jump to a tree for a second. <laughs> I am just picturing this cat woman trying and breaking into an apartment and like someone catches her in the act and she whips around with this smiling face on <laughs> slaps him with a big soft paw <laughs> i would i would love to see a batman movie go this direction with catwoman yes just like really make her like she's still sexy but she just wears the plush cat face mask yeah this could be you know either just 
stupid. Well, a really sexy cat woman, or they could just use one of the cats from Cats. Oh, that's true. Oh, they yes. probably have plenty of footage just lying around. Yeah. Only the James Corden one is the only one they're allowed to use. <laughs> James Corden would make an excellent cat woman. <laughs> I think. Cast him, Hollywood. You cowards. <laughs> the existing footage of Bustafer Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alternatively though, Deuteronomy as Catwoman. Ooh! Ooh, get a little Dame Judy Dench in yeah, there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. She says she just turns to camera at some point and says, "A cat is not a dog." And then just jumps Batman. out a window with all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that would be so good. One line I didn't close. How dare you, Jacob? Here we go. I'm just getting setting some mood here. Yeah, this is this is the Ooh. movie poster. Wow, it's, it's raining. It is rain. It's still raining. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still just raining. on Charlie Brown Penguin, dog friends. Yeah. He, it's like he showed up to that same beach party from the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good party. I don't know. He shouldn't have come to it. That's the theme of of this video: is terrible parties because <laughs> you know I'm currently. Uh, having one. (laughs) (laughs) It all comes together. (laughs) Happy birthday, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. We got you this video recording to do for your birthday. (laughs) We got you work to do. (laughs) It's been so great. I hope, like, I've been missing, you know, time with friends, and I thought time with people I don't know at all would be just as good. <laughs> We're new friends. We're best friends. We've already established that. Yeah. We're best, best friends. friends. We go way back to like approximately 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, I remember how, like all the memories we have. Remember that time we got together and I described Saving Private Ryan and you guys got it at the end? <laughs> Yeah, if I think back really hard, I can remember it. One of my most cherished memories of you, Zach. I've got yeah. it framed on the wall. <laughs> uh, Julia, do you want to get in here? Do our last one? Yeah. You ready? Because your your Windows Vista just gave me a progress wheel. Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. But our Windows Vista is uh is ready to go. I'm ready to get a prompt. Uh, okay. Well, this one should be really easy because I'm not going to play the game on this one because if you'll recall all of our movie nights that we've had in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, yeah. This is a favorite among our movie nights. And, yes. And uh, and I'll just give you the actual title of this movie. It's called Baby Gamers. Do you remember Baby Gamers? <laughs> Baby gamers, I baby you know gamers. I don't. I wish I remembered baby gamers. Baby gamers, it's a gr- it's a great film. So basically, uh, if you'll remember, we're in a world where every person is a is a baby. Some of them are young babies, and some of them are older babies. Right. Sure. Okay. But they all just love video games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. This sounds like a beautiful <laughs> it's world. It's a wonderful story. It sounds like the world we live in right now. We're all sort <laughs> of various aged babies and we all love video games. Yep, and everything everything in the world of these video games is pretty perfect. You know, like the, it's really a a utopia almost. Everything is is automated and perfect, but you know, if you play too many video games, sometimes you're like, hey, I wonder what else the real world has to offer. I don't. I haven't gotten to that point. No. Yeah, certainly. I've heard about that, but I haven't like experienced yeah. it. They needed to have some conflict in this movie, so they had to make up uh, you know, the idea that, that there's something out there that's better than games. <laughs> This is, you're having trouble with this one baby. This one baby is giving you a lot of trouble. You've you've hit you've hit my weak point, which is that I'm drawing all, something that's all curves. Yeah, it's a lot of round shapes in babies. And I am Julia's... a geometric person. Hey, man, real babies have curves. So. <laughs> Stop baby shaming, Julia. I can't. Uh. Babies you, are you hard. You nailed the, the gamer's expression, though, on this baby. And the this posture. Is... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was important. 
So these babies, basically, like, there's, there's nothing really wrong with this world that they live in, but they have, like, these, I would call them protectors. They're basically like Roombas. <laughs> uh-huh. And, uh, you know, so they, they have Roombas to clean up after them and, and you know, find their little charging docks and stuff. <laughs> and that's great. Uh, but then this one baby, one <laughs> stupid baby, <laughs> comes along. Uh-huh. What is this? Ba- what's what's this? Is this a a video game in the baby's mouth? Yeah this this baby doesn't know how to game, but it's learning. This is a pro strat. Actually. Yeah, I would say that some of these babies at least should be. You know, doing the Oculus because they like what's oh. new, what's, what's newest. Oh, that's sure. true. That's a good point. Okay, you know, like baby babies aren't gonna be playing Donkey Kong Country One. <laughs> Mother, please give me a VR headset. That's the baby sound like? <laughs> I'm a discerning baby. I'm a discerning baby. That you know, basically, they play these games, and but this one baby comes along. Uh huh. And he says, uh, you know. I don't think we should be playing all these video games. You know, like maybe we should should step outside and uh, you know play on the playground and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Roomba's like, I don't know. These games are pretty great, and we we kind of oh, this baby is this is like <laughs> a they're just learning how to stand. You're really just doing that. Like it's the progression of man. This one's down. <laughs> yeah, and then this one's gonna be standing nice and proud with the VR headset on. And for some reason, to get uh-huh. out of these games, th- these babies have to learn how to do parkour. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? You remember this film? I remember this. Yeah, I know. Rumors- I know exactly what movie you're talking about. I don't. The Roombas don't like it. They don't like the, the Roombas don't like it because they like to to keep everything uh you know like they like to keep people uh satiated with their games everything's perfect you can I mean you, you can, there's all sorts of games there's like a farm simulator there's <laughs> a, a goat simulator you can even do a game where you're just like eating stuff yeah there was restaurant simulators for sure yeah restaurant simulators which we all need those yeah now i wish we had them now this movie yeah. exactly and like had the right idea i think yeah and also like if the babies are all playing the games and they're not you know going around the house breaking all the dishes yeah, they're not and breaking the Roombas. Problems. yeah the Roombas worked really hard making the games yeah for the babies and i really don't really and and like you don't really want to go out into the world when the world is all cloudy and deals with like like this is a the, basically they're trying to distract these babies from climate change. Yeah, <laughs> the Roombas are heroes. Yeah, the Roombas are great. I mean, and they're probably they're not as dumb as normal Roombas. They don't no. just run into walls and stuff. Like they built this whole thing, and this may not be the uh the first one but like in the second baby gamers movie i think <laughs> colonel sanders is there yes i remember <laughs> colonel sanders in the second one it's a it's a trilogy yes yes yeah yeah i'll see i think you might be getting it okay i have a guess is yes. it the matrix yes it is <laughs> amazing <laughs> My God! This one baby, this one baby, this one stupid baby, this one stupid baby comes along, and you know, I don't know why there's there's so many sunglasses in this universe. Well, babies <laughs> yeah. have very sensitive eyes. Yeah, I guess. Especially if all they've seen are screens. Oh, this is great! This turned into Morpheus right away. This is <laughs> like the sunglasses. it goes from. From stupid babies playing. This really does sort of <laughs> encapsulate the Matrix for me. Yeah. This is great. And also, it's still a perfect evolution of gamers <laughs> chart. <laughs> this is a gamer's final form. Was this, Is this enough content? <laughs> or do we need to do more of these? Because I'm happy to go for hours. This is wonderful. This is this is a perfect amount of content. I just keep thinking that this 
this kind of gamer shirt, if we put like gamers rise up down here it would be a t-shirt can you that please I put say. gamers rise up down there yeah which is i think a pretty good tagline for the matrix <laughs> yeah what it was the tagline for the matrix because it wasn't as good as gamers rise up no i don't even want to think about it because gamers rise up is perfect but in the matrix the gamers aren't rising up they're stopping gaming which is something a gamer should never do no, they're That's... they're gatekeeping gaming. I think like it doesn't exactly fit because it was mo- it would be more like gamers go outside. Yeah, but, but <laughs> well, I feel like gamers it's... rise up. Like gamers will not respond to gamers go outside. It's it's more of a literal interpretation of rise up. Like literally rise up yeah. off of your ass and go outside. Yeah, yeah. like like yeah, rise up. Uh, it wouldn't work for me just because of the wheelchair, but. Mm. But I feel like you can I still can like agree emotionally. You yeah. gotta rise up out of the goop. The little claw <laughs> machine comes pod. and gets you out of the goop, and then you you go play worse games. Would you Would you stay in the Matrix though? Because I think I would. If I knew there was a Matrix and I could just game it, I would be fine with that. Yeah, stay in you know? the '90s. Yeah, for sure. No, complaints. my thought always was like, okay, so they escaped. They escaped the the simulation, and uh, what did they find? That humans are covered in goo. I'd go back. <laughs> yeah, and I'd I go would just back. Do, I'd be like, like this cool sucks. jumps and tricks and stuff. Look, I'm I covered could do in Kung goo. Fu. I'm full of holes. Yeah, I just want to go back to my office job where there I get are these to bots everywhere. Go to cool raves with people with slinkies on their neck or whatever. And- I just I I mentioned it here, but I just can't get over the the scene where they're at the steakhouse. And oh like yeah, they're eating the steak, and it's like, like, and he's like, I know that the Matrix is telling me that this steak is great, but who cares? But isn't that what your brain does anyway? Like, yeah. What, I mean, really? Who I honestly, if if machines want to suck everything out of my body. Mm-hmm. And that I realized that could be interpreted in multiple ways. And none of them yeah. are good. But yeah. I'm fine with it. <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah. Let's add that to Zach Anner's quotes section on yeah, IMDb. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it, cowards. But no, I fully agree. If a machine wants to convince me that a steak is delicious, I'm on board. It's... I want to eat the delicious steak. Oh, what's going on here? These are those little floaty things that attack the ship, right? They look like oh. jellyfish. Oh, they're, they're also <laughs> they also babies. Have they're also babies. babies. Baby faces. They I have thought baby faces. we established those were the Roombas. Oh. Yeah, but the Roombas, okay, they're advanced on. Roombas that have baby faces now. Okay, hold on. I don't want my Roomba to have a baby's face. I'll come out strong <laughs> against that. There we go. Perfect. This is good. I really want, this is, I think I'll put this, I'll put this up in my, in my room. <laughs> it's a good up. poster. A wall scroll. <laughs> a flag. Yeah, it's cover a flag. whole wall in this. I would make a beach towel out of this. Oh, yeah. It'd <laughs> be a great beach towel. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just discussing merch options, which I'm into. <laughs> yeah, Gamers Rise Up beach towel coming to the Drawfee store. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Drawfee store? There is, yeah. Hold on. Let me... Let me it's, Oh, sorry. I know we're 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 recording, but I was just gonna. Go <laughs> no, this is a great opportunity to plug the Drawfee store. store. Stop watching this video right now and go yeah. visit the Drawfee store, and then come back to the end of the video. Well, how do you go to the store? <laughs> Tell me more about it. it. It's on DFTBA. So if you if you Google Drawfee DFTBA, it'll come it's up. The easiest way to get it. We do need to set up some link redirects. That yep. would be a good. Thank you, Zach, for that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, by the time this video is up, that'll be sorted out. You could yeah. just go to drawfee.com slash store. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Julia, this is an amazing piece of art. It's certainly something. Excellent work. I love Thank it. You. The only thing that I would add is, is I, I just like to imagine that Morpheus still has a diaper underneath that trench coat. <laughs> Yeah, he does. It's there. Does. I'll do it in post. You know, you'll see cool. like you'll see the coat go out Just to cover little, the diaper. Yeah, hint of a diaper. Under yeah, there. very good. 
but you did a great job. All your drawings were amazing. Thank you so much for, for uh, really understanding my take on these films and, and getting the essence of all of them. We love cinema here at Drawfee, and it's just great to, to talk to another person who loves the movies as much as we do. Yeah, and I, I don't just love the movies, but I, I, I love the movies and I absolutely adore uh, the film art. So um, I, I think these posters are great. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to purchasing them all at the DVCCV. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's it. That's our URL. Yeah, yeah that's where our store is. <laughs> Well, Zach, thank you so much for coming on our show. Is there anything you want to plug or get out there? Uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, my YouTube channel, maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, it's just youtube.com slash Zach Anner and Zach with an H. And then, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram. Also, I've been kind of lonely these past few months, so stop by my house. <laughs> <laughs> Do wear a mask, but yeah, wear, stop wear by. Wear a mask, be outside. I'll, but I'll, I'll wave. Wave through the yeah, window, yeah. yeah. See Zach, wave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a blast. Well, this has been Drawfee. If uh, you like what you see, you can always uh, support us by uh, going to patreon.com slash uh, or just, you know, hit the bell, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, leave a comment of what you want to see us draw next time, uh, suggestions of other guests you'd like to have us have on, and uh, see you at the movies. We're sorry. 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 Sorry.